Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6 with me, Full Symmetry. We start off in our town and we seem to have someone here. Hi. Um what 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 what's going on? Uh hi hi. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that logging on, but okay, anyway. <laughs> Uh, Christ is doing his own thing. Who knows? Anyway, today I actually did start the episode already and I didn't like how the first clip left off because, well, I basically went all the way over to the minigames district to find out that the game I wanted to play was out of service. So, um, yeah, first, first part of the episode didn't go to plan, but I have, in fact, spent a little bit of time um, not on the server, actually on a different world, and I've been coming up with a plan for a new build in town. The new build being this weird structure of blocks here. Does anyone even know what this would even be? It's sort of a... It's, it's sort of very weirdly planned out and actually not even correct. I've actually decided that, uh, <laughs> that it's going to be like here instead. And if I move this over, it will also be here instead as well. So I do have a plan. <laughs> the plan is here, laid out. And I have been gathering a load of blocks ready for this. There are a couple blocks I still need to gather. So I'm going to go and do that. And then, of course, we're going to be building this thing. And I should probably tell you guys, it is a gas station. Um, I thought, what a great way to sort of bring people into the town, right? And a gas station. I feel like that's a thing that a lot of um, American towns have, right? When you're sort of getting in there, the gas prices are probably higher as well, I guess. Uh, being within the town, perhaps. And um, I thought that was the perfect thing to go right here, slap bang, on the left as you get over the bridge. I don't know yet if I want to build anything that side of the bridge. I'm thinking I want to keep it all this side. So I'm going to keep this sort of greenery, maybe put a little smaller build here gas station there, car park there, and then of course all the builds we currently have. And then when I want to add some more, I could build some this side, but I'm very very likely gonna be building them over here, in this big area I've been preparing, because <laughs> there's a lot of space over this way, and uh, I've got a lot of ideas ready to be built too, so it's just a case of building them I guess at this point. <laughs> So I have the majority of blocks I'm going to need in these purple shog boxes. And these are all materials that I've had over here already, so I'm hoping it's going to be enough. Mostly we're going to need white concrete, uh, we're going to need a little bit of yellow, and then I brought over some extra powder for if we need any more road stuff. But basically, the idea is that these dirt little pillars in the middle, these four here, one, two, three, four, uh, they are going to be the structure that holds the thing up. And then of course this gas station is basically just a roof. Uh, we don't need any walls or anything like that, although I am thinking and sort of worried about where on earth I'm going to place some sort of kiosk or like shop or whatever sort of building you have there as well. I guess I could have just the pay pay by card machines but I, I sort of feel like it, it, you're sort of missing out on something not having sort of a, a small little kiosk area. Maybe over there, maybe on the way out over there. I don't really know what we have room for. I guess there's room over here for some small little building perhaps. But uh, I guess we'll get to that when we, well, get to it. For right now, I need to start building this thing. So let me start planning it out, get rid of the dirt, and place down some white concrete. Well, if I hadn't told you this was a gas station, I feel like placing these very, very few blocks here, you'd already probably guess, right? <laughs> it looks, uh, I don't know, it's pretty iconic as a building, right? You know, it's the only thing I could think of that would have a roof like this. Other than like a gazebo, perhaps, or like... Yeah, I don't really know. Some sort of outdoor area. Um, but anyway, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I wanted to bring the yellow in somehow. And I think we're going to have to have this covered, this ceiling. But what we'll do is work on the top first. And then I guess put some sort of slabs underneath it. Perhaps some sort of grey block. I don't think I'm going to go with stone. I actually want to change the roof for that. I don't. That's the one roof that I really dislike. It just doesn't look good. But I don't want it to be wood and I don't want it to be matching that either so I, I don't know what best options we have and the slight slabs are gonna look too like square 
So we sort of need some more blocks that have like stripes, you know, like uh, like quartz pillars. I really, really like those, and I think they're very like handy. But they don't come in slab form, and you, you know there aren't any other blocks that I can think of that have horizontal or vertical stripes. I think that would be a really great block idea to add in the future. Uh, I, I rarely think of things that I would really want in the game, but I think something that could work as like a slab, a, a slanted roof, no, not a slanted roof, a, a slab, no, not slabbed roof, a corrugated roof, maybe? I don't know, it's just something that looks like, you know, ha would have lines in it. I guess the issue with that, though, is, of course, if we turn the, you know, say the, ha the, the lines were going this way, what happens when you hit this? I I don't know, maybe maybe you'd need like some sort of corner block as well. But I don't know. I, I think just we need stripes in the game, okay? Hashtag bring stripes into the game. I don't know, that's not, <laughs> not a very good hashtag. Anyway, I was thinking what we should do is bring it out like so, right? I do want to add some sort of lighting in it though. I mean, that would be the top there. And how does that look? I mean, pretty good. I'm glad we went with yellow. It's nice and bright. Um, again, under here will be slabs, so you're only going to be able to see this sort of outer stripe. I do want to bring in some light somehow. I could do something with carpet like I did there. But I am thinking, yeah, lighting would be important. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do that or not. I don't know. Let me Let me just finish the roof up, because I know exactly that's, that's just going to be flat white concrete and boring. So let's do that. Think about what we want slab wise, and then is it too tall? Nah, that should be fine. We, we should be able to add like some sort of tanker if we wanted to over here, or some sort of lorry. Um, yeah, we could build on those, and then that will make more sense the why it's so tall, right? <laughs> yeah, saying that, I haven't built a tanker or, or, or something like that yet, or even any cars. I'm still, I'm still here with the dirt. So hopefully by today's episode, by the end of today's episode, we can, uh, we can build some vehicles because. That's, that's definitely something missing in our in our town if we want it to feel populated, you know? It's, it's definitely populated. People are raving all about it. They're so excited about the opening of this. Because <laughs> it, it, it's still, still not open. My bad. Well, I think this is looking pretty okay so far. Pretty basic, but we can definitely fit some cars underneath here, which is basically what we need, really. Uh, but I am actually going to just do a little bit of extra stuff. Now, I've got these sea lanterns here, and I do want to hide them. So, right, I already have a plan for that. Did the... Okay, the, those blocks did appear. Okay, I thought I was lagging, like, really badly. Uh, anyway, so I've done some research on um, gas stations, uh, or petrol stations. I, I keep calling it a gas station. I, I know the British word would be petrol station. We, we say petrol stations, gas stations. We don't use the word gas for petrol and diesel, really. Uh, so it's a petrol station, but you know we're, we're going American uh, esque with this sort of uh, sort of build um, town. So um, that is why everything is American. You know, like that's a diner rather than like a restaurant or something. I, I guess we'd still call it a diner, right? If it was that sort of style. But anyway, um, so uh, that looks way better. I, I wanted to bring these up, but I didn't want to go a full half slab because it just looked ridiculous. Because I'm making this quite compact. If I was ma making this for real, I would make everything bigger, um, but I, I say for real. This is for real. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like I would probably make this bigger and, and stuff like that and make it work a, a different way. But anyway, uh, so I have some space here now for uh, the gas... Um, <laughs> what do you call these? The pumps. The pumps. The gas pumps. Or the petrol pumps, whatever you want to call them. The pumps. <laughs> We're going to make those. So I've already got like a bit of a plan on how to do that. Uh, I uh, basically just went into a creative single player and just tried a whole bunch of stuff. For example, I found that um, I really liked how tripwire hooks looked for the nozzles. Uh, they're not going to both face the same way, that would be weird. So let's both have them facing... Actually, let's have them facing the other way because, yeah, we'll have them on the left. Although thinking about that, and I guess they're gonna have to be, you know, they're gonna have to be both sides. Because then, you know, because some cars have the, the, the thing on the left, some cars have the thing on the right. We need to make it, you know, universal. So let's also add some of these just for a little bit of extra something, something. We're actually gonna use, um, I think, quartz for the roof of the, the little uh, kiosk that we're gonna make. Then we need some sort of screen, which of course I have figured out that this is gonna look the best, I think. 
So let's go with that. Um, let's also have one here as well. Um, and we'll use those little bit as glass panes. I might, I might do some of the maps at some point. I really, really want to make custom maps more often, but they just, they're just so time consuming. Uh, and then after that, I guess, uh, you know, what, I sort of do want some yellow carpet for the top, but I might actually just use white because that's what I have. If for yellow, I'd have to like actually get some yellow because uh, I don't, don't have any. Um, so white will probably do. Yeah, that'll that'll look fine. For now, we can change it later. Um, and then I guess there you go. I do have a plan for if a car is attached to one of these, but that will mean that every car that we build in here, we're going to need to make sure the gas tank, you know, is completely directly opposite. And probably two blocks away if possible. So I've got a very specific place for a car to go, which is a problem if I'm building cars that I don't really know how they're going to look. I am worried that I might need some sort of stairs or something up there, but I'm actually thinking, oh, you know what? I've just thought, I've just thought of my local, my local petrol station. Uh, they have numbers, right? These are numbered. So you'd go to the kiosk place and they, you'd, you'd give them the number and they'd, they'd, you know, it'd come up on the till how much your number was, right? So if you were here, you'd be like number one. If you were over here, you'd be like number two and, and, and vice versa, right? I don't know how to yet, yet to do that, but I do think yellow banners would look sweet with a number on. <gasps> Imagine that. What colour would the number be though? Dark, mm, yellow with white numbers? Or yellow with black? No, yellow with black numbers. We don't want to go too crazy here because I think the car is going to be quite dark in colour to contrast. So anyway, also the roof looks a little bit funky because I've had to add some sort of carpet to it. So I've put like a bit of a pattern on here because <laughs> it just looked weird when I had like, there's lighting under here and lighting under here. And the same on every everything. It just looks so weird having like the dots on the top. So I've had a little bit more structure up there and it looks a little bit better when you're flying over. So anyway, let me get on with the banner part and then the car part. Um, and hopefully we can try and f at least fill up some of this with some cars and some, uh, some bikes as well. And things will start looking a little bit more um, populated. Okay, I have a plan for the banners I've made Three of them? I did actually make a four as well, but um, I don't think it's just, it's just not going to work. I think I'm just going to have this as like a, a, a through way. Um, if someone wanted to come back round, they could do so. I could even add another through here, so if people wanted to go round back into this car park, they could. Um, or they could come round into the car park through here. That's the, that's the way it goes, basically. You don't turn into this way. This is a no entry. Oh, that's what I should have. I should have no entry signs. And and stop signs. That's what I want to make with maps. Oh, so much effort though. I need lo like a load of red. Like, I guess I could use red carpet from uh, Zuma's wool shop, right? I wonder how much he's got. I don't know. Anyway, that looks quite cool. I like that. I think I just adds that little extra bit of detail that, you know, it just shows that I've, you've thought it through a bit more. <laughs> so one you'd be on here, two would be here, three would be here, um, and it just makes it nice and simple. Anyway, let's make um, this little thing down here, which I guess is going to be, oh, I just, we're going to have to like get rid of some of this dirt, which is annoying because I made this all look nice here. Uh, it's sort of like a little, um, yeah, a little, a little oval, but, um, but yeah, I don't know, I guess we're going to have to chop some of it out. I guess we could have uh, the, um, the land come over the top of it, so it's not awful. But yeah, I do want a little kiosk here. Actually, that fits in quite nicely. Yeah, right there, perfect. Just a little extra bit of detail. We'll keep it quite simple. We'll add a little bit of yellow stripe down the side, perhaps. Um, here, wait, no, we're, mm, door could go there. Stripe could go here. Maybe three tall. And uh, obviously it's going to need some sort of little window as well. So there you go, three-wide window. In fact, have I got any glass panes on me? I do. Let's have like a little... Uh, yeah, a little glass window there that sort of looks like it's got shutters. Um, and then the rest could just be white and boring and it doesn't really need to be anything exciting. A little iron door on the side, perhaps a bit of flooring in there as well would be cool. And then, in fact, yellow flooring. Oh, that would be fantastic. Sweet. Um, and yeah, we'll add the quartz slab roof and then I guess I might need to put something inside. But I, I, <laughs> you know me in interiors at the moment. I'm not doing any interiors. I'm really, really bad. Diner hasn't even got a kitchen still. I completely forgot about the kitchen after that video. Completely forgot. Completely just vanished from my head. And um, 
yeah, I just really need to finish off the interiors of this place because currently it's not very good for people to visit. And I do want people to be able to visit and, you know, buy stuff or interact or, um, you know, I don't want those guys over here. You know, they're not, they're not allowed over here, but, um, <laughs> but uh, we don't want their business. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's starting to look pretty good. So let me finish up the little, <laughs> little kiosk. Ah, it's cute. Um, and then, oh, we could make it a double kiosk. We could have two... Mm, Nah, one will do. It's only a small town. We don't need any, any, any crazy stuff. We don't want to, don't want to be paying too many uh, workers. I think, I think one's fine. Um, hi. He just checked me a piece of steak. <laughs> I mean, I already had like a lot of steak, but but thanks. I, li I literally was just messing around with the pathway over there, about to record. I look over there. Cross is just standing there, staring at me with his big eyes, and I'm like. The heck is going on? <laughs> it kind of looks like he's going for a bit of a tour. Uh, I guess we'll leave him to him. Anyway, uh, I've been working on this quite a bit. Uh, been doing a whole bunch of car work. I'm probably going to need to do a whole bunch more though. Uh, but I've come up with some designs for cars. This one's sort of more of a Jeep. Uh, I actually wanted this to be like dark, like nether brick, not the red stuff, but the red stuff's what I had over here. So I can always swap it back. But I originally actually built that out of spruce and it just looks awful. So uh, I'm glad that there are more than just wood slabs and stairs now because we can have more of a. Uh, Mirror difference um, of textures and stuff. But anyway, uh, yes, this is what I came up with for the for the for, for it being filled up. I think that's great. I think that works really well. <laughs> that's as good as we're gonna get in Minecraft, okay, guys? An Enrod, okay? Enrods work for that. Anyway, I've added some barriers as well. Some barriers around there. Um, we've added, of course, this big sort of semi uh, truck sort of thing without the trailer on the back because it's, there's no, I can't fit a trailer in, in here, you know, it's, it's, it's having a pit stop, it's driving in over all of the empty things um, and going in there to get some some, some gas, I guess. Uh, we've got this sort of weird vehicle here, which I'm not really sure what it is, but it's sort of like, a, I guess, a, a family uh, car of some sort. We've got another couple of these bikes. I actually want a new design for bikes as well, something that isn't like this. This is very sort of Harley Davidson-esque. Um, and I like that it, you can actually sit in them, because, you know, I'm driving a Harley Davidson. Of course, why why wouldn't you? And did we do anything else? We did the banner stuff that you guys saw. Um, I've been sort of just trying to do the lighting. I'm trying to take off as well. I've been doing the lighting and I've put a couple of lights underneath each of these. And it works really, really well. That actually, I did that after building the cars, so luckily the cars have been put in a good spot. Where they don't look too bad. And actually, I really like it from the sky. I think it's great. I still think everything looks too clean and tidy for my liking, but it's Minecraft. I'm trying to just fill up space uh, and get sort of a village going um, where we can bring people in and they're going to be like super excited to pay, you know, buy some stuff. Um, oh, I'm, so, I'm annoyed. I actually I had a customer, guys. I literally had a customer. He's walked off and um, yeah, that's really frustrating. <laughs> oh, that's really frustrating. Anyway, Anyway, this is what it all looks like so far. So uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I think I might do a bit of tree work around the whole place. I have also done a bit of... Um, oh, I can't fly right now. I've actually, I've actually already uh, added some extra plots. I'm going to make a little garage for myself. There's something else this side and there's something else over there. They're, they're smaller buildings. I'm not really sure what they're going to be yet. But as I say, you guys are good with coming up with build ideas. So <laughs> leave your suggestions down below. How do we make this town even bigger, even better? Maybe more opportunities to sell stuff. I'm thinking actually we could have had some sort of like food truck or something turn up. Sort of similar to the ones down in um, down in Hermitland. You know, maybe they'd have popped up this way as well to start uh, selling because obviously they're going to get a lot more people up here. I'm also trying to sort out this torch situation. It's really annoying me. Um, so I might have to do some sort of hidden lighting underneath that. That looks awful. I don't really know yet. We'll, we'll figure something out. That's that's not too bad. But we'll, we'll have to do something because <laughs> we can't have torch found absolutely everywhere. So I've added some foliage, some trees, some grass and all that good stuff around here. And I think it's looking much better having, having it sort of a little bit more 
it feels a little bit more sort of enclosed and I think I like that quite a lot um, because especially with all this sort of geometric stuff going on it, it sort of <laughs> it's 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 very very harsh the lines whereas I think the trees especially from from above help quite a lot I've also added some lighting just around the outside with the uh, sea lanterns and leaves on top just on that grass line so you don't see torches here's gonna still gonna be dark spots like, I don't know really what to do here. I guess I could add another one of these lines, perhaps. Uh, can I line it up there? I guess I could do, actually. That uh, might be a good uh, shout. Uh, and then do the same again, like I've done previously. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> that was silly. But, uh, but yeah, I'm just basically just trying to find best options for hiding lighting. I don't worry, I'm not worried about lighting absolutely everything up, but as long as it's lit up enough so that if someone was walking along and a creeper came out of the darkness, they'd know that, you know, that they were in the light, creepers in the darkness. It wasn't just all dark, because <laughs> then, uh, yeah, then you have trouble just seeing. Um, so, don't, yeah, I don't know if I should do anything with the roads, lighting-wise. I don't really want to put anything directly in the road, which is why I started doing these things. And I, I don't know. Anyway, there is one more thing I do want to add to the uh, gas station. One is some sort of logo, and two is some sort of sign there with the gas prices for when people come in. But I don't have an idea for that, and all the resources. I'm sort of running out of resources pretty pretty hard. Um, definitely running low on the light grey, especially as I'm going to be using a heck of a lot more of it over on the expansion over that side. But, um, but guys, let me know what you think of our town so far. Let me know if there's anything you think I've missed. Uh, any ideas for buildings um, and stuff like that and any ideas for clubs are more than welcome too. Guys, that is going to be it for the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.